so yeah this is the divide players into teams of an equal skill so what the problem statement is initially you are given a positive integer array that is indicating skill where each value is indicating a skill he is he will give you an even length n so what we need to do we need to divide the players of teams uh n by 2 teams such that each team should size uh, should result in uh, a size of two players right so uh, he he is given as uh, the chemistry you need to chemistry of the team that is nothing but the product of summation of those players we will understand that later so uh, if so while you are dividing into two teams their sum should be matched their sum should be matched with each team see here here uh, initially he is giving us this array how he split at this uh, into this into these teams right now you see that is 1 plus 5 summation is 6 and 2 plus 4 summation is 6 and 3 plus 3 summation is 6 you see their summation has matched with each other if if it is matching like that then you need to calculate the chemistry of the teams like how you call uh, calculate the chemistry of this teams uh, you ga- you can just multiply each teams each team skill and you just and you just add that and you just add that and how we will encounter this see initially you uh, this is the given array right this is the given array you just sort this you just sort this initially you uh you sort the given array you sort the given array we will just taking this case you just sort this array and you take two pointers that as i and j that is i and j now you can see <coughs> now you can see uh initially just take uh, just take some uh, summation that is the summation of last and first you just store that summation that is now what is the summation of the first and last element that is 6 right that is 6 right so now i'll check for every team for every team i check this is the uh, this should be my summation this should be my summation why because i was dividing into two players such that uh, even i have sorted this right so my summation has has to be this has to be this because there is no other way we can judge like uh, their summation can match with each other right so now you will take uh, two pointers now you store that that summation that is first element plus last element right that is 6 here 1 plus 5 is 6 now you take i on the first uh, on the zeroth position and you take an iterator j on the n minor n minus 1th position once if you take that once if you take in that you just add the summation what is your array of i plus j that is 1 plus 5 equal to 6 right that is 1 plus 5 equal to 6 you check whether it is equal to x or not you check whether it is equal to your x or not what is our x value that is 6 right that is 6 so since the summations are matching you just you just add that product into your some sum variable i'm adding r- current currently i'm adding 5 why i was adding because 1 into 5 that is 5 right so we are adding that summation we are adding that summation once if your once if the process is completed you again move your j to j minus 1th position and your i to i plus 1th position and once if you check again their summation is matching with x again their summation is matching with x that is nothing but 2 plus 4 that is equal to 6 right if their summation is matching why don't you add that product into your sum that is 2 into 4 8 that is 2 into 4 8 okay once if you have add that and now you again increment your i and decrement your j and you again check the summation again check the summation with your x if your x summation is matching with that then why don't you add that product into your sum you again add 3 into 3 9 now what is this total summation that is 5 plus 8 plus 9 that is nothing but 22 right that is nothing but 22 
now what if what if what if if our i plus j at the sum is not matching at any point of time then you just simply return minus 1 then you just simply return minus 1 let's let's take this case let's take this case uh 1 1 2 3 right 1 1 2 3 1 1 2 3 1 initially your x sum is first and last element sum right that is 4 Be because 1 plus 3 is 4 right now you take an iterator i on the first position and j on the last position now what you will do you check x equal to 4 right you check the summation is getting equal to your x or not if they are matching if they are matching then you you just add that sum you just add that product into your sum that is sum equal to 3 right now you increment your i and you decrement your j now you can see the summation is 3 the summation is 3 which is not matching with your x which is not matching with your x once if they are not matching then you just simply return minus 1 from there then you just simply return minus 1 from there you just don't calculate the sum and you can just simply return minus 1 from there so this is the main intuition behind this you can just simply see my code you just you just sort this array you just sort this array and you can take the summation of the first one and the last one and now you simply keep an iterator on the first position on the first position and the last position and the last position if their summation is not matching with your x if their summation is not matching with your x you can just simply return minus 1 from there or or if they are matching then why don't you add that product into your sum you can just simply add your product into your sum and you can increment your i and you can decrement your j uh, like how uh, until until your i and j does not uh, overcross each other right you can just simply return the sum you can just simply return the sum i'll just quickly submit this you can see it's working it's working fine so yeah